While symbolic AI was freezing and thawing, a rival tribe of researchers had been tending a different fire in the wilderness. They were the Connectionists, inspired not by logic gates, but by the biological brain. They believed intelligence wasn't programmed top-down, but emerged bottom-up from networks of simple, interconnected neurons learning from experience. For decades, these neural networks were dismissed as computational dead ends. They were too slow, too power-hungry, and required too much data to train. But three things happened in the early 21st century that created the perfect storm for their resurgence. First, the internet happened. Suddenly, humanity was generating oceans of data, images, text, speech, every second. The fuel for learning algorithms was now limitless. Second, the gaming industry inadvertently saved AI. Graphics processing units, GPUs, designed to render 3D video games, turned out to be perfect for the parallel mathematical operations required by neural nets. And third, researchers like Jeffrey Hinton, Jan LeCun, and Yoshua Bengio persisted through the winters refining the mathematics of deep learning, stacking layers upon layers of artificial neurons. The watershed moment arrived in 2012 at the ImageNet competition. A deep neural network called AlexNet demolished the competition in recognizing objects in photos. The margin of victory was so vast that the entire field pivoted almost overnight. Symbolic AI was out Deep learning was in. Computers could now see. Soon, they could hear, translating speech in real time. But the truly terrifying moment of clarity came in 2016. Google DeepMind's AlphaGo took on Lee Sedol, one of the world's greatest players of Go, an ancient Asian board game of profound complexity. Go cannot be brute-forced like chess. It requires intuition, and strategic feel. In game two, AlphaGo played move 37. It was a move no human master would ever play. It looked like a mistake, but it was a move of profound alien beauty that secured the win. Lee Settle was crushed. We had built something that didn't just calculate better than us. In a narrow domain, it intuited better than us. The machines were no longer just mimicking, they were creating novel strategies, 